<sighs> we're back. How is winter break? Venus just got out of retrograde, I want to say yesterday. And honestly, feeling the vibes. Mercury is still in retrograde, and we're going to blame that for the echo that you guys are hearing. I'm sure I'll get it fixed after this next music break. Today, we're just going to talk about the planetary alignments, what that means for us as the new year starts. And maybe do a quick little reading to see how the rest of 2022, or at least the spring, is going to be. All right. I have some nice little disco bops. This is Take My Breath by The Weeknd. All right. That was Sweet Crazy Love by the Luna subunit on Eye Circle. All right. So first and foremost, let's discuss the planet that just went direct. I want to say yesterday, I literally, I was just looking at it, but... Mm, let me see. <laughs> when did Venus go direct? Honestly, I'm pretty sure Venus, planet of love and transformation. Well, planet of love, really and truly. Just went direct yesterday. And honestly, truly, I'm very grateful. I feel like a lot of the times when planets like Venus are in retrograde, it's just a perfect opportunity for exes and people that you haven't spoken to in months, years, decades. I'm not that old, but it feels like it sometimes. Well, they'll just come out of the woodwork and be like, hey, been thinking about you. Why? I'm going to start charging people anytime they message me. Hey, been thinking about you. Okay. Show me you care. Give me 20 bucks. Uh, I honestly, I always find myself wanting to do that too. Like just message someone I haven't spoken to in who knows how long and be like, hey, I miss you. And do I miss them? Not really. I don't think I've ever, like, regretted a breakup. Once I'm done with you, I'm done with you. I don't look back. I'm not the type to, you know, move backward. Always moving forward like a shark. But I do think that for those of us that are dealing with breakups around Venus retrograde, you just want to go back constantly. There's... You can't help but think about all the good times that you had. And nostalgia loves to lie to you and tell you that you had the most amazing time with a person. Even if your entire relationship was spent fighting. Nostalgia will convince you that that was the best relationship you had in your whole life. And honestly, I I do get the appeal. I obviously, I understand. But I just don't do that. I can't. But while Venus was in retrograde, the lovely planet of love moved through Capricorn. I can't read today. My contacts are like dry. <sighs> oh, wait. Venus is still in retrograde. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> the, okay, so the last time Venus was in retrograde was during May 2020. We were all in the pandemic, so what could we really do? We couldn't go back to our exes. We were all trying to survive. It was like the, the zombie apocalypse. Venus is also the clone, the closest planet to Earth, which means that its retrograde is the most powerful comparatively because it has the most effect. Venus moved through Capricorn, and the particular retrograde had people reassessing their relationships, value systems, and financial situations. That's why I was calling the financial aid office every day for like two weeks straight. I was turning into, I was just going to make a movie reference to a movie that, A, I haven't seen. Two, I'm pretty sure came out 20 or 30 years ago. Show me the money. Does anyone, did anyone see that movie? I saw the trailer for that movie. I've seen clips on TikTok. I know things. Anyway, a lot of psychic astrologers were talking about how since Venus, the planet of love, was in retrograde, while Mercury, the planet of communication, was also in retrograde, it would make talking to people, romantically or otherwise, harder. I found this was true because almost every guy I talked to would ghost me. I can only blame Mercury and Venus. No one else. There's no one else to blame. Whose fault could it be? Mine? I'm a joy and a wonder. All right, but Mercury specifically, the planet of communication, goes into retrograde more often than most planets do. And there's always always weird impacts on communication especially in my life i've noticed even if i don't know that mercury is in retrograde i'll be like oh mercury was in retrograde that's why everything was crazy it is harder 
It's not that it's harder to communicate. It's easier to miscommunicate when Mercury is in retrograde. And Mercury will stay in retrograde until... Hmm. I, I can't read. It's times like this I remember that I can... I don't have, like, math brain. So I can't calculate things. Maybe it was Mercury that just got out of retrograde. See, I know things. But when it comes to love and the way that the planets affect us and the way that our zodiacs and everything go through as a Scorpio, I can tell you that I am petty, especially when it comes to relationships and love. And I'm very confused about something that's going on in front of me. But that's neither here nor there. I, as a petty person, love to, I have this urge to just be happy and want to let everyone know that I am happy and I will continue to be happy, especially if I, for some reason, believe there's like a grudge there. And I find this to be especially true when Venus is in retrograde. I want to show everyone that is like an ex or someone that our relationship ended weirdly. I want to be like, look, I'm cute, I'm sexy, and here's a bunch of guys that like want to talk to me, even though I know, I know, I know. We shouldn't pl place value on ourselves based on how many people like us or find us attractive. We should place value on ourselves based on who we are, what we do, and, you know, all that good stuff. All right, let's, I have talked for long enough. Let's hop back into some music afterwards. I will do a quick little reading for spring 2022 and then a little overall reading. This is Excess by Rina Sawayama. Ooh, all right. That was Te Pongo Mal, Prendelo by Caliuchis and Jowl and Randy. Okay, so let's start with some quick little... Ooh, let's start with a quick little reading just for the spring of 2022. Now, honestly, just by what I've been saying with the Venus retrograde, the whole wanting to go back to people that we know aren't good for us it happens. And it doesn't just have to be romantically. There are so many people that I've seen that have just, like, gone back to friendships and familial, like, relationships that are awful. And you're just like, no, I need to. I, I can make it work. I can fix them. Stand up. No, you can't. Get off the floor. What are you doing? All right. So just a super, super basic reading of the air. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, for the most part, I like to see this card as not destiny, but the feeling of destiny being revealed. Like, you're fulfilling something that you've worked hard towards. I also see it a lot as change. Not necessarily, like, big changes, but the small ones that we don't really notice kind of culminating into one big thing. the world now obviously we're in the, our what third year of a pandemic so we've kind of had to adapt and continue to adapt and rewrite our lives over and over again continuously as a scorpio i do this all the time just for fun but it is hard to continuously do it over and over again and it's okay to feel spent now finally we have the chariot now, I like to see the chariot as a sort of goalpost. There's times where we see the finish line, but we're so afraid to go towards it. And obviously, there's reasons. Sometimes we don't want something to end because it's fun. Sometimes we don't want something to end because we're scared of what will come next. However, allowing ourselves to be scared won't let us move forward. And as humans, we're always meant to move forward, adapt, and evolve. All right, now let's get a little more in depth. Let's see specifically for the spring. I mean, with the weather being crazy, COVID being crazy, as one of my professors says, COVID's children running around. Like, it, I mean, really and truly, we don't even know what can happen like a week from now, two weeks from now, a day from now. Every day has been so much crazier moment to moment there's just always something going on 
And if there isn't something like actually crazy going on, there's like some celebrity drama going on. I don't even know who Julia Fox is. I thought she was like Megan Fox's cousin or something. Oh God, I wish I was joking. I did not know who she was. I also, speaking of Megan Fox, you know, I'm not going to say anything mean, so I will not say anything. Let's see. All right. So in our futures, there are a lot of good things, celebrations, a big feeling of homecoming, finally being able to relax, maybe not coming back home, but going to a place that you feel is home. However, I am seeing the Four of Pentacles. Financial worries are on everyone's mind. Thankfully, the Death card follows those financial worries. It is time to let go of the financial burdens of your past and look forward to your future. Building it, financially speaking, in your career, in your schoolwork. Maybe you've been thinking about changing your major to something you're more passionate about, but you're worried about money. And can you really have a job in that? As someone that followed my passion for my major, there is nothing like being able to study something that you genuinely love. It's amazing and being able to learn and be hands-on in situations like that is so amazing and has just helped me so much as a person. However, a lot of people are having trouble letting go of the things that will allow them to start a move forward. The end of things, their death, can be scary. And it is natural to want to fight against as a human being. But things end and start again. That is the cycle of nature. Finally, oh, and this is juicy. The judgment card. There are secrets or feelings, or things that you have been letting bubble under the surface. They will find a way to be let out sooner or later. You should pick and choose when those let out. Don't let things bubble over. Don't let secrets fester. Don't let anything. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people around you. Or those things will come out on their own, and it is never cute. All right. Well, I'm not really going to be focusing on questions today. Just kind of want to chit chat with y'all and keep up with the. I literally just realized that that last like card I pulled out was very mysterious. I love that for me. I am the drama. I don't know. I mean, with work and school and my show, and I love my show. I love coming here all the time, just every week. Sitting here, playing cute music, talking, answering you guys' questions, giving you advice when I can. I've really enjoyed it, and I think that this will definitely help my future. It is me investing in my future, and I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And this semester, I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous, I love all my classes. I know, I know, how lame. I'm such a nerd, but I do... I do. I'm getting chances to work on short films and to, you know, sharpen my reporting skills and to work on my acting. I'm a theater minor and I barely spend any time, like, acting. I don't know. It's fun. This year, I'm definitely trying to break out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'm saying yes to more things within reason because COVID is still happening and you do not want to put yourself at risk for no reason. But saying yes to more things, allowing myself to enjoy um, like everything, enjoy life a little bit more. I feel like there was a time where I spent so much of my energy just focusing on how things could go wrong that I never allowed myself to push forward and do things that I wanted to do. And I'm happy to say that I'm not that person anymore. And I think we should all move forward with that kind of energy. There's, This is our one life, for all we know. I mean, I don't know. I do sometimes believe in reincarnation, but that's not anything you know there. This is the only life that we know of so far. Do you really want to come to the end of it and regret the chances that you didn't take? 
Okay, that was sappy enough, but let's keep it more sappy. Up next, we have some Beyonce, some Ariana Grande, and I don't know, something else. But this is Be Alive by Beyonce from the King Richard soundtrack. All right, that was Yo Pero Sola by Bad Bunny. Have y'all gotten tickets to the Bad Bunny concert? I have not because COVID is still happening and I trust no one. Um, Well, the show's starting to wind down. Got my last little 15 minutes and I have a couple more songs I want to play for y'all. But I just want to remind y'all that you can always ask me questions through the Radio FX app. I believe you can even ask questions through Twitch when that starts coming up. Um, All the fun times. I know that my show doesn't get posted to YouTube like it used to. But I mean, you can get the gist. You know what's going on. If you do miss your answers, I know that I did get some messages and I never addressed it because I didn't think to address it but I know if you miss your answers I'm sorry um reach out to me if like you miss your answers like day of because it'll be fresh in my memory but sometimes like it'll be <laughs> like a couple weeks later and you're like when did I you know you answered but I didn't really hear it or I missed it um but yeah also the best way to get questions to me or any advice that you need to me you can always just go out to a lake um preferably one that's like kind of polluted uh and then you just have to like throw a coin in there it has to be more than a nickel but less than like a dollar coin maybe like a Sacagawea coin I don't even know just toss that in there there's gonna be a fish that comes up it will not be alive do not talk to the fish turn around there's going to be this deer it's going to look you square in the eyes tell it your question and it is going to whisper to you that it will give you your question to me unless it thinks that your question is stupid then it will not get to me i'm sorry i don't know what to tell you uh yeah it has been fun i missed it i always miss the show whenever i'm gone even though the winter wasn't even that long but still i always miss it it's always so much fun i did find a song in the archives that is one of my favorites i had didn't even know that we had the song here so this is techno cumbia by selena but before we go into that i want to play a promo for one of our shows i believe t with d all right so you're gonna hear a promo and then you're gonna hear techno cumbia by selena quintanilla <laughs> 